Okay. This morning, boys and girls, don't adjust your TV set. No, I'm not upside down. Um, we are under the Corvette, and we're going to put the fuel injection pump in that comes from Holly. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wrong end of the box. There we go. Okay. Holly... 12-380 is the part number for fuel injection pump. Now, it doesn't come assembled with this little sock. You have to press that on, and it has an alignment dowel, and you really have to press. This sucker doesn't just pop on there. You really got a mean for it to get on there and it's plastic so kind of be gentle with it but you got to be forceful enough to get her done so if you read the instructions and hey you know occasionally we do that um the instructions have nice color photos and it says you have to add the supplied hydromat Remove the two screws holding the sending unit on. Because if you think about it, putting it in, once you get up to the sending unit, how are you going to get it through that hole? Which, you know, I'm glad the instructions tell you that because I would have probably tried it until I got there and then it would have been a Chinese Rubik's Cube. You've been going, well, how does it fit? So, we take these two screws... Let me get a hold of it here. Philippe's head screwdriver. Take the two screws out. And I'm going to drop them. I'm almost guaranteeing the screw's going to fall and then I'm going to have to chase it. Ooh. Must be the self-cutting thread screws because they're getting tight down near the end like where it cut through the screw, cut through the threads. Wow, you'd think it would get looser, is it? Hey, you really want that home. Okay, set the screw over there so we can get back to it here in a minute. Get this one out. And yes, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a toboggan, it's 30 degrees outside this morning. It's cold. It's almost May, and it was 30. So yeah, I'm I'm uh really ready for some warm weather. We went to Charlotte for auto fair, and yes, you can insert your comments below what you think about auto fair. I'll I'll take the good and bad comments. Um, but it was 80 degrees there. It was wonderful. Okay, so we did what the instructions say. We got the hydromat off, put it on, and then fuel cinder level. Yay! Woo! Okay, flip. I like that they do have color pictures, so we're going to... We're going to show you the color pictures before we do it. Okay, it says you slide it in, get it in like that, and then keep inserting. We're going to read them. And then it says run the supplied O-ring gasket, stretch the wires around the bulkhead, yada, 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 bulkhead plate. Set the bulkhead plate gasket secure with locking ring. Ding! It's in there. Okay. Now, the little part I didn't read to you, it's got the wiring on the back. We'll get to that. Um, be sure not to tear the hydromat as it is being inserted into the tank. Okay, let's get a hold of it here. Um, the hydromat, it's pretty stiff. That's pretty strong material. But that's also a pretty sharp edge. So, we're going to be careful and we're going to try to squeeze it and get it 
here in the tank. I know it sounds like we're ripping the, the holy camoli guts out of it, but this is the only way that it will go in. And just take your time, work it in the tank. Okay, now we got that. Oh, wait a minute. Before we get too far, this is flopped over to the wires. Wait a minute. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Now, gonna have to get that up in there. I'm gonna find a way to hold this and get that. All right, that barely fits. Like, like barely. Whew, that was tight. All right, now, let's see if we can get fuel sending level. Fuel sender, come on. Maybe if I turn it that way. I'm sure there is a Rubik's Cube of answer. There we go, look at that. Where? Hit me in the face. Oh, I'm blinded. Help me. All right. Now, I'm going to have to screw that back on there. I got to bring it back out enough to get the Philippe's head. Where'd my screwdriver go? Okay. All right. Let's get her started. And not strip it out. That would just be terrible. Terrible, I tell you. Oh, did I do that? Damn, damn, I did it, I did it, I did it. I put in the wrong hole. I did, I went in the wrong one. But we come sing with me. I don't know if y'all remember Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live. I grew up when Saturday Night Live was still the thing you actually watched. Comment below your favorite Saturday Night Live skit. Which one was your favorite? Okay, what do I do with other screw? I'm gonna be eating this plug. I am. I am eating the plug. It is in my way. Oh, oh, that was bad. Oh, where'd that go? Okay, we got it back. Catastrophe averted. All right. Now, this is the one that didn't want to thread out. So, I am imagining it will have the same amount of resistance Going back in. Huh. Actually, it's going back in a whole lot better than it came in. I imagine that. Are y'all getting annoyed by the plug as much as I am? Only you can do something about it. Or Smokey Bear says, only you can prevent forest fires. Okay. Give them just one ugga dugga. It's a Phillips head screw, so just one ugga dugga. Okay. All right. Let's continue on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. What went wrong? What am I hitting? What did it do wrong? Uh, we did exactly as instruction said. But 
Huh. Let's reevaluate this. Man, that screw is rough going out. I'm not coming back in. That doesn't. Does not make any good sense. No sense to me. All right, set it over here. Important placement. Product placement. All right. Um, let's see. Loosen this one just a little bit so it'll move. Maybe I got to put one screw in at a time. That's It doesn't say that. Oh, well, it would help if I turn them over. All right, let's see. Make sure I didn't skip a step. No, it shows it just like I got it. Huh. All right, well. Let's see what we can... Come back here. Hey, come back here. All right. Now, the tab is above it. Let's, let's try again. Ewan's, which is y'all plus three, when Ewan's is watching this, y'all, uh, let me know in the comments if you think there was a better way to do this. And in case you're wondering why a man with two lifts now, two, not one, but two lifts is laying on the floor doing this, Must be my better half coming back. And no, it's not a wife alert. It's a driveway alert. Okay. So. Well, looky there. Now, I just got to get it orientated to the right direction. Okay, so we're almost there. All right, so I need mow rings. Oh, look, look, they come in bag hardware. And I gotta tear it open here. Da -da -da. And, oh look, now that's a funky O-ring. It's got a tab on it. Wonder which way that goes. Instructions! Not to worry. Seat bulkhead plate on gasket and secure with locking ring. Uh, I don't see anything with a tab. think over maybe I don't I don't feel anywhere a tab would go oh Yeah, 
I don't. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's look at pictures again. It has it pointed that way with lock and tab there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good, all good. Oh. I don't see where a tab on O-ring is important. I don't see. Oh. Okay. It doesn't say you index the O-ring, but it's really weird. Maybe it's how they cast the O-ring. Who, who knows? All right. We're going to press with a screwdriver. And compress the O-ring. I may have to get a, at the wiring harness gonna have to move. You're gonna have to get out the way. You don't then, you don't annoy me enough. Out of the way. There you go, stay there. I may have to go get a beating utensil for the O-ring. Okay, I didn't get a hammer utensil just yet. Oh, now it done got stuck. What did I get stuck on? Oh, there. I went and got a flashlight so I can see a little better. Upside down. Okay, got that there, that there. You know, when you do this in a normal gas tank, like on a pickup truck or a car, it's on top of the tank. So gravity is helping you. In this situation, gravity's hurting you. Because you got to compress the O-ring and fight gravity. Huh. Okay, I'm hitting the car. That ain't working. What? What, 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 what can I use to compress? Because they ain't going to work one at a time. They're all going to slip under. Hmm. That big, maybe about that big. Let's see. All right, come on, come on, you can do it. You too can be a winner. As Nancy Reagan said, just say no. All right, now line up. Get orientated, right? There we go. Push up. Turn. Mm. 
All right. This is going to be the hardest part of the whole thing. There is not orientation for the O-ring. That's not in my way, is it? Let's see. No, it can spin freely. It's just compressing that O-ring and gravity's not on my side. Huh. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Huh. <clears throat> so we got to compress. Where'd the other screw go? Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. What can we do? What can we do? Because we got to hold that, get all three tabs, and get it to spin. And gravity is not on our side, so we're not compressing it. And you can't push. Huh. May need an extra set of hands. Okay, as you can see, I had to have something to hold it up in there with force because gravity was fighting against me. And yes, you see this little apparatus I've got going here. And yes, it's sketchier than a gas station hot dog. Um, but I can't argue it works. So, you know, it actually collapses the o-ring i can get in here well maybe i can get in here get the screwdriver tap the ring keep going i can probably take the sketchy jack out now i can come on don't hit me in the face don't hit me in the face there we go Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ugh. We got. It. We got. It. Okay. Now. Ah. Much better. Much better. All right. Now we got to continue to drive it on around. Oop. Missed. Yes, let's see. Drive from this way. Get. Go that way. This is kind of a work your way around. It's wanting to stop on that tab. That's not what we needed. We needed it to move. Okay, let's continue. There we go. Went past that. 
the locking the orientation tab. The orientation tab for where this mounts in the gas tank had the ring hung up. So it wasn't wanting to play nice. Almost there. Almost. Almost. Come on. You can do it. Everyone's a winner. Everyone gets a trophy. Let's see. Oh, that's in the way. Come on. You can do it. Almost there. Just a little bit more. All right. That one's up. Come on, come on. Center that one back up. Ta-da! Whew! Oh, my. Okay, let's go over the wiring. I said we would do that. So let's, hold on. Page, page. I'm upside down. Not the, not the instructions, okay. Alrighty, let's see, okay, the, why is there a yellow wire, wait, wait a minute, where's the play, we're gonna have to use some powers of deduction here, because the color codes aren't right, Snap when it clicks. Okay. All right. Now, what colors do we have? We have, and the instructions, we have a gray wire. Dun, 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 dun. Gray wire is the power to the fuel pump. This is fuel pump power going in. Okay, purple is your gas gauge sending. And then we have yellow, which is not on the drilling. And then we have black, which would be chassis ground. Huh. Yellow. Huh. Yellow and black and white stripe are not the same thing. And it's yellow all the way up to here. Huh. Well, we'll have to look at that. We'll have to see where that yellow went. I am betting... It's chassis ground for the gas gauge, but we'll, uh, cause all the other colors match. So we'll look at that. Hmm, imagine that. May have to call Holly and tell them their documentation is wrong. And to make sure any rubber hoses or clamps are rated for EFI? Yes, you are correct. Make sure everything is rated for EFI because she'll have enough power. Nice little caps, I keep them. Um, but yeah, fuel injection will blow regular line. So, get this out. I'm not sure where I'm, how I'm going to route that in the car. I'm not sure which way I'm going. May go up and probably go up and through the body instead of down the frame. I'm gonna probably going to be up and in the body. So we'll just for right now loop it up, set it over there, get it out of the way so it's not hitting me in this face so much like this. Um, but yeah. So that is Holly Fuel Pump. 
Uh, like I say, the only sketchy thing is putting that pressing on that ring hard enough to get the O-ring to compress. Because on a normal gas tank when you're on top, you can just press down and lock the lock and ring in, get it to go in. But here you don't have that luxury of being able to press down and actually move, yada, 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 all that good stuff. So, yeah. All right. Well, now we go on to some other Corvette stuff. But, yeah. Hopefully, it's getting warm enough I can take my toboggan off at some point today. But, thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a like. And, like I say, Give it a comment on below. Let's see, what did we say? Uh, about auto fare. Um, if you've ever ate a sketchy gas station hot dog, you can comment on that. Um, and click the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And click the little notifications bell so you get a notification when you've subscribed. And... How we end all our videos. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.